In late 2020, Linux Mint introduced the Web App Manager. Since then, it's been added to several other distributions. Today, we're going to look at how to install that and also take a look at some quick use cases for it. So in particular, from the research I've done here, we can install Web App Manager on Arch, which I've already done. sudo pacman-s Web App Manager, it's as simple as that. This also works on Manjaro. Fedora, you just need to add this particular repository and then you can DNF install Web App Manager. Ubuntu, it's a little bit different. You have to wget this and then you can install it that way. There is a way you can go in and actually add the Mint repository to do this, but you have to do some things to make sure that it only pulls the Web App Manager from that repo. I will put a link to the Arch package, the Fedora page I found, and the Ubuntu page I found that has this information. I'm not sure I would recommend the extra repo part in Ubuntu, but that is something you can decide whether you want to do that yourself or not. So once we've made that installation, you'll get an application that looks a little bit like this. And with that, all we need to do is we need to hit plus. We can give this a name. So let's say Twitter. And so if I say twitter.com dash inator seven, uh, you can give it a category. So I'm just gonna say web. You can pick your browser. So if you want Firefox, I've got Firefox Brave and Falcon on here. I'm gonna pick Firefox and I hit okay. And so now back in my list here, I have added Twitter. And now as you can see, it'll pop up here with my Twitter page. It will not actually log me into Twitter. That is something that is ultimately a little bit different. It does not actually get your cookies from your main browser. So this could be a nice way to potentially manage multiple accounts. You can go and turn this off. So if I go bookmark toolbar never show, and then I close this, and then I open this back up, it does save that setting. It's ultimately something where you can, you know, you can go and set these up and, and do what you need to do. Let's do one more. So if we did, for example, let's say YouTube, and we're gonna go youtube.com slash fashionator1. We're gonna say this is under education, sure. Firefox again, we'll hit okay, and we'll go YouTube. And as you can see, it's come right up here, and I can turn off that toolbar, or the bookmarks bar, and there we go. So now you could go and binge watch all the videos. The nice thing here is that ultimately if you're needing something where you don't want to install a Chrome-based browser, but you like the web app paradigm, this is a great option. The app is very lightweight and it's ultimately something where you can, you know, have a number of websites that you just want to open in that. Naturally, if you want to do a web app from something like Brave or whatever, that would be another option. The uh, other nice thing here is if you do want to have all your web apps kind of in one place, you can have them all here in this application, even if you wanted to use something like Brave instead. Just a nice, simple little app. You can add a navigation bar. You can do private incognito mode if you want to. It's just something really simple where you can go in and do that. And you can go in and edit these if you need to. And you can set up an icon if you like. They will appear in your start menu. I, I don't have the start menu coming up on this screen, so I can't, so you can't actually see it, but they will start showing up in your menu that comes up when you press the meta key. That is a pretty nice little feature as well. This is a short and sweet one. I hope this one was uh, useful. I am hoping to be back here soon with another video. We have something I think that's going to be a little bit different coming up. Thanks and have a great day.